guys, this is Production Music Live. In this sound design tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a sort of FM type bass in Serum using the noise feature and actually combining an audio file I have and the oscillators of Serum. Also, if you're interested in learning how to work with Serum and what all these knobs and functionalities are doing, we put together a complete sound design course for Serum. Check the link in the description. So what I have here is a bass track with this MIDI you just saw and I have a kick, a clap and a loop here. And they are just playing this pattern. And that can be found in our Deep Premium Volume 2 sample pack. So on my Serum track down here I only have a compressor sidechaining to the kick. And actually we are going to start from scratch so I'm going to duplicate this track here and I'm going to take the compressor off for now and I'm going to put this in solo mode. Okay, and let's reset this patch which is out of our Beach Styles pack and I'm going to the init patch and we start like this. I'm taking down the master. Okay, first we wanna take oscillator A an octave down and maybe another one and let's go into the analog section here and select basic shapes and look for a triangle wave it's actually the third one here Make sure you're on a good sound system with sub speakers or headphones. We are going to run this one through a filter here and I'm going to activate the filter and I'm going to set it to a 24 decibels cutoff here. And we're going to put up the resonance. I'm actually going to bring up the level a little bit. I'm also bringing up this level here. Now we can combine this sound with a noise sound and you can see here I have a couple of audio files prepared with noises, FM bass and let's actually play them quickly. I'm bringing this level down here. So we have um, this file here with a bit of a pause in the beginning and then it starts and it somehow has a noisy tail here and that one has the same pause in the beginning and then the tail is cut off and here I have one starting right away with a bit of noise and I have another one starting right away without any noise. So let's, let's drag them into Serum and see what it sounds like. Going back to this track here and it's a cool feature of Serum. You can actually just pick up a WAV file here and drag it into your noise section if you activate that one before. So let's drag it in here. So you see now it loads up FM bass and let's actually play it. I'm going to put the noise on solo. So there are a couple of things we need to do. Bring up the level and we need to put it into the one shot mode so it doesn't trigger again. But now we are not playing any other note than the init note here so let's follow the keys. Okay, and let's try to pitch it up. Let's actually try to match the pitch of this sound with the pitch of this oscillator here. Okay, they're off. So 
So at 13%, as you can see here, now we are in pitch. So now we are starting to mix those sounds together. And uh, well, this one seems to have a longer tail somehow and seems to play a bit longer than the other one. And also, they don't seem to start at the exact same time. There seems to be a little bit of an offset in the beginning. So we could load in one of those files here without anything in the beginning. I'm dragging this one into the noise section. Compare it to this one. Actually, I kind of like that effect. So I want to keep it that way, but you can always adjust the phase here. So what this phase knob is doing, it actually tells you when it starts the sample. So if I move this one up here, we are moving to the right in the sample start position here. So let's see how that sounds. percent seems to be good and we can also think of using the one without the tail so let's drag that one in here sounds cleaner but I kind of prefer this sound here so I'm putting that one in And I'm going to make these four samples available through our website. Check the link in the description. So now we kind of have to match those sounds together. And you can think of gluing them together, for example, with a compressor here in the effect section. If we play around with the threshold and put up the gain. That doesn't seem to be quite enough because we still have a bit longer tail with this oscillator A here. So what we want to do is take an envelope and put it onto the level of this oscillator. So we bring it down all the way, pick up the second envelope and drag it onto the level here. Now we can shape that sound a little, taking the noise off quickly. Shorter decay. More release. And maybe not that far up. Sustain down. Sustain goes down if you want to shorter and more match to this noise here. Put it in. Actually bring it up further. Sustain down. Now we can use the first envelope here to shape the overall output on our amplifier. So I'm bringing that one down as well, but not that much, maybe like this. Because that one will now affect our noise here as well, while this envelope only affected our oscillator A. This one will affect the noise section just as well. So I'm putting the release time up a little bit as well. Maybe the K is a bit long here with two seconds. It would 
work with one second as well. Bring down the level of that noise a little bit. And maybe we want a little bit of sub below that, so we can put in a sub oscillator and bring that one down by two octaves as well. Level down. Still too much. But that one would also need it some kind of envelope shaping here and you can use for example the third envelope it's also possible to use an LFO so let's quickly do that as an example I'm taking the LFO and I'm just treating it like an envelope I'm putting that one onto this level here I'm actually going to bring that down and like kick it up in the beginning and then follow this shape here so we need to put it in envelope mode it doesn't trigger again if we do that and the rate goes to like one bar well it's kind of slow in in going down that way so let's go back half a bar or a quarter of a bar Yeah, that seems to be better. Now we can even put in this um, curve. And now it's disappearing earlier, so let's put it back up. Depends a bit on what you're looking for. I'm dragging it down a little bit. Let's actually go to the effects section here and put in a filter behind everything and use a macro control here on the cutoff. Actually, if we hit shift alt mouse, we can put it into unidirectional or bidirectional mode. And I'm going to use it unidirectional like this more or less. And let's call this filter and use 18. Now we don't hear anything. Let's put up the filter again on everything. Let's play around with the resonance here. could also result in an interesting effect. Um, I'm going to keep it lower. And drive down a little more. And let's go back and we can also play around with the automations of the cutoff here and the resonance here. So for example, taking another LFO and kicking in the resonance will also result in an interesting sound effect. Let's bring that one down here and envelope. Let's actually bring it up further. So this affects now this triangle wave. It doesn't affect the sub because it's not running through the filter and it doesn't affect the noise either. So, but it's getting more clicky here. And you could also do that with a cutoff. So I'm going to put this LFO here on the cutoff like this we have to put it into envelope mode just like we did with this one uh, 
Now this sounds interesting if we bring this resonance a little bit back. It's very powerful, very pretty much like a kick. We need less sub if we do that here. And um, well, we uh, use the LFO number one to control the sub. So I'm going to bring this one down, down, down. We can actually also control it here on the envelope. So we could also bring this one down. It might also work without the sub with this setting here. Also draw in more dots here and make that one shorter. If you don't want the sub to play too long. Let's actually play that together with everything else. So We should put in the side chain here because we're always playing with the kick together on the first and second positions. So there are so many interesting things you can do with Serum. You can put envelopes everywhere and you can glue stuff together with the compressor here and use two filters, one on only one sound and the other one on everything. And you can also drag in your noises and adjust those phases here and the levels and the pitch. So it's really versatile. It's very interesting. If you like this preset, it's part of our Beach Styles preset pack. You can check the link in the description. If you like the drum samples, you can take a look at our drum samples pack, the Premium Volume 2. If you're looking only for those sounds, you can get them as free download through our website. Link is also in the description. And if you're looking for a complete sound design course for Serum, we also put one together, also linked in the description. In that one, we are explaining the entire interface of Serum, all the functionalities, and we are making a lot of sounds. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit us on productionmusiclive.com, subscribe to our channel, and I hope to see you next time.